we lived in a little village in the King Country as kids, um, a place called Bennydale, about as big as this area here. <clears throat> My dad got sick and we had to come to Wellington. So mum arrived with five boys. We came down by train. <clears throat> we got off the plane in a misty, rainy Wellington morning. I stood out the front of the uh, railway station. I can remember it as vividly here and now as way back then, over 60 years ago. I saw then my first ever skyscraper and it was the Waterloo Hotel about four stories high and it's still there today but it was a sign that Wellington was the big time but in fact over the years it's turned out to be just the same as it was then just a little bit different maybe some of the buildings are a bit bigger and there's more cars and noise and hustle and bustle but nothing much has changed have a look at this harbour that's the same as it's always been, a beautiful thing. And what the city has done with strolling and jogging and running and walking and sports clubs, here's the rowing clubs here of Wellington. People exercising over here to the left. I mean, it's just a lovely place to be. So Wellington's changed, it's grown up, but essentially hasn't changed at all.